G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do another little experiment today with my new Montmartre uh, Studio Acrylic Paint. Uh, I'll show you what the bottles look like. This is them here. Now I did a few earlier on, the bigger ones, um, just testing ratios and things like that. I'm still not really happy with the ratio. Um, one to one pouring medium to paints too thick. Um, I did one that was one and a half to one, but then I added water and I made it too thin. And so this one is just one and a half to one with no extra water. And I'm using the 65% glue, 35% water. Um, in saying that, the white is really thin. I had to go one to one with the white. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a ratio that says, okay, it's one to one on everything because the blue was much thicker. Um, yeah, so anyway, just having a bit of a play. Today, one and a half to one. Whoops, come here. Now, three drops of silicone oil in each. One, two, three. Oh, that was about four that went in there. Let me get one out. Um, I haven't got any black in this. The other test pieces had black. No black in this one, just blues and turquoises. I don't have the other colours yet. I ordered them this morning, the reds and the yellows and the orange and all that kind of thing. And then when they arrive, I'll be able to mix red and blue to get purple um, and so on and so forth. They don't have a very big range of colours in these. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 colours. And uh, I use probably about, 30 different colors, so I I need to make my own. So it's going to take me all day. Next day, next time I have a day off work, I'll be mixing paints to make different shades. So I've got the standard blue. I've got their turquoise, their white, their blue with a touch of black to make it a navy. And then uh, this one on... This one here is their blue with some white and a bit of turquoise just to make it a colour that I thought was pretty. Righto, let's start layering, hey? This is a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, 12 by 16 inch, and I'll probably get three layers. It's it is still thinner than what I would tend to use, but I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to have an easy flow of paint, you know, and bigger cells. So with slightly thinner mix, you do get an easier flow for sure, and you do get the bigger cells. So let's just see how it goes. My next thought is doing 60 40. And then going one to one so that'll be my next experiment and see how that goes because for me trying to work out one and a half to one every time it's just a pain with this one i did 75 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint which is one and a half to one whoops that was a bit too much white <laughs> um but yeah i don't want to have to keep doing that it's just annoying it's much easier for me obviously just to go one to one you know 50 grams of pouring medium 50 grams of paint much easier to calculate. So that'll be my next little experiment. 60 glue, 40 water. Because when I did 65, 35, one to one, it was too thick, I had to add water. So instead of adding water afterwards, I might as well just go 60, 40, hey, and see how that goes, go one to one. Not all paints are going to work like that, though. Probably still going to have to add some um, water to some, like the black. The black's always really thick. And the white, for some reason, is opposite. It's really thin, so I always have to add extra paint to my white. 
Everything's heating up in the studio today. I can feel it already. I think it's going to be 31 today. It's only spring, but it's. I just heard on the radio that it's going to be a really, really hot, dry summer. An extra two degrees warmer each day than it usually is, which is not going to be pleasant. I can tell you that. Now, for some reason, I used more white in my first layer, so I want to have a, a decent amount of white because this mix is a little bit on the thin side. The colours can blend a little bit, so I want to have a good layer. I'd rather have a decent layer on there rather than three sort of pathetic layers. <laughs> and you can go there and there. Yeah, I didn't even that up very well, did I? I thought maybe I was going to go for three layers, but I didn't, I didn't have enough paint, so. I'll just have the one with the white, extra white in the middle. And then some of the blue. And I'll finish off the blue, and then the light blue can just sit on top of the white in the middle. It can be a little bit different. You don't have to make all your cups the same. I think it's quite nice to have a slightly different look. You can layer them all differently if you want to. You know, just do one cup at a time. It just takes a, long, a lot longer. So I just tend to do it this way because I know you guys are watching. And um, I just tend to get a wriggle on with it and get it done. So 600 grams of mixed paint for this canvas. And it will be plenty. It should slide around nicely. And then I'll have a go at the, as I said, the 60-40, one-to-one, and see if that's any better. Just means I have to make up a new, oh, splurge dew. It just means I have to make up a new big bottle of pouring medium. And... Uh, I've already got my big litre bottles of 65-35 made up, which I use for my swipes and I use for my global. So I would have to go and buy more of the big bottles, another six, and put 60-40 in them just for the Montmartre, which I guess, you know, I might have to do that. If that's what Montmartre paint wants, then that's what Montmartre paint will get. Hey. Okay. Are you ready? I think it's going to sort of spread quite a bit. Not as thin as the number two video that I did, um, 65, 35, but had extra water, so no extra water. All right, shut up, woman, let's do it. Spreading a little bit, not too much. This is the one that had more of that light blue in it. Love the blues. So love the blues, don't I? Let's pour that over there. Just try and get your corners covered. That one's pretty good. Okay. Lovely colours, aren't they? Look at that. Blending is just gorgeous. So pretty. Okay. Now, I always like to cover the area that's got the biggest blank spots first. So let's do that. And as usual, walk it back and forth, see how easily it's flowing. <laughs> I think this is still too thin. Definitely gonna have to try a different ratio. All right, turn it around and then torch it. This is the torch that's been misbehaving. 
I don't know why. It's been naughty. It's been flaming. So I'm just going to take it really easy. I'm going to try for some less cells this time. What do you think? Because the cells are going to be bigger because this mix is thinner. So they are going to be bigger cells. So I may just... Whoa, too close, too close. I may just do a few less than I would normally do. Try to anyway. All right. Oh, look at those dark ones coming through that pale blue. Now I got too close there. See the caterpillars? If you get too close, you get caterpillars. Um, so I'm tilt, tilting that off anyway. And see how they're all in a cluster and they're much smaller and they're, class, and they're caterpillars. That's because I got too close. If you look at these guys here, they're separate and they've got space around them and they're bigger and no caterpillars. So there you go. But I will tip, tip those caterpillars off. So I want to stretch my cells round, not just up and down. So walk the paint back and forth, back and forth, open them up. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they are. Now this kind of goes off the on an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Take it off and sort of try and straighten it a bit like that. And um, <laughs> I think I'm done. See how easily it flows when you've got a slightly th thinner mix? I don't know. Do you guys like that look? The bigger cells? I don't know. I'm in two minds about it. Yeah, you know, it flowed really easily. It was done in a flash. Voila, it's done. Um, yeah, well, maybe the, the thinner mix is is good uh, for those people. Certainly for those people that trouble that uh, struggle, I should say, getting cells. Um, the only thing is um, overstretching them when your mix is this thin. If you're not really really careful. Um, if you're not quite experienced, you have you do run the risk of overstretching your cells. But when you saw how easy it was, I had plenty of paint. Um, I really didn't have to tilt very much. And it was done. And just cover up my little corners here. Try and get something to match. And I think I've done that one already, haven't I? So there you go. Quick and easy. <laughs> They're all going, no, it's not easy. It is easy if you've got the right consistency. Consistency is the key. Um, I probably still would prefer it a touch thicker. So... As I said, I will try 60-40 uh, and go one-to-one -one ratio. Now, you guys should be able to get Montmartre Studio Acrylic pretty much everywhere in the world, I think. You can go to Montmartre website and um, click on Find Distributors or something like that and it'll come up with a, a map of the... Uh, a world map and you can just click on I think the country that you want and then it brings up all the different suppliers so I'll have to check if they I know they do like the UK and everything like that I'll just have to check with them if they do um, the US all right I'm just taking my gloves off and actually I'll show you this one this one was this is a thicker mix and the cells are smaller. I know it's different colours and everything, but 
See the cells are a little bit smaller. I guess and the background is like more block colours, whereas this background is more more blended. Got a little bit of the dark blue coming through there, but the rest of it is all pretty much blended. Hmm. Okay, I won't uh, pass judgment just yet. Um, as I said, I'll wait and I'll make up that next batch. And I've just had a notification earlier that my lovely friend from Waterfall Acrylics, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> just got a notification that she's popped a video up. So I am going to finish this. I'm going to go and make myself a cuppa and I'm going to sit down and watch her latest video. So there it is. Um, I don't think I need to take you down for a close-up. It is what it is. Um, pretty cells, rings around cells, beautiful blended background it's really pretty so um, yeah stay with me and we will check out the slightly thicker mix next time right thanks for watching bye for now